Hi guys and welcome back. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make these pineapple cream tarts. Let's begin. So to start the recipe you'll want to make a jam. So I'm using tin pineapple as the fresh pineapple wasn't very ripe. So you'll just want to drain the liquid away from the fruit then place the fruit into a saucepan but keep the juice for later on. So into the pineapple you'll want to add some granulated white sugar and some water and then give it all a good mix just to incorporate it a bit more. So then you can place it onto a medium high heat and allow it to simmer for a couple of minutes just until the fruit starts to break down and it will become a little bit more stringy but it will look more like this. It will look more like crushed pineapple. You can put it into a food processor to make it extra fine but that isn't necessary. So next you'll want to start on the pastry by placing your sugar and your egg into a bowl and giving them a good whisk together and then setting it aside until later on. So into your food processor or into your large mixing bowl you can place your flour and your butter and then combine the two until you've got a sandy consistency. Making the pastry by food processor is much quicker and it doesn't allow the mixture to warm up very much. So next you'll want to add in the egg mixture, getting as much of it into the food processor as possible. And then when it comes to mixing this, be careful not to over mix as it's very easy to do at this stage. So once you see that it's started to come together, empty it onto a floured surface and knead it together. That's better than overworking it in the food processor. So once the dough is done, you can then generously sprinkle flour onto your work surface and empty out the pastry onto it and just knead it together until it's all come together and it's smooth. You would like it, it will then be ready to be wrapped in cling film and placed in the fridge for around an hour or an hour and a half until you can roll it out again. So a couple of hours later I sprinkle some more flour onto my work surface and then place my dough back on top and then sprinkle some flour on top of that and then start to roll it out. You want to get it to around 5 to 7 millimeters in thickness. This is ideal. So here is what your dough should look like once it's been fully made. Try not to warm the mixture up too much and if you are in a warm climate keep it as cold as possible. Don't worry, England's never warm anyway. Once you've got it rolled out, you can then start to cut out the shapes you need. I will leave all that information in the blog post down below. So you can take your cut out of pastry and just slowly and steadily work it into the cupcake tin. This may take you a couple of minutes to do, but it's all worth it. If you get any holes or rips in your pastry, don't worry, just fix them with some exit pastry. Level them off and smooth them off as best. So to make the whipped cream filling, I'm going to place my double cream into a medium sized mixing bowl, along with the icing sugar and the vanilla extract. I will then give this all a good whisk until it reaches stiff peaks consistency, or it's just become thicker in consistency. You don't want to take it too far as otherwise you'll start to make butter and nobody wants that. So once your pastry cases are fully baked and cooled, you can then start to fill the bottom of them with a good amount of the pineapple jam that we made earlier on. You don't need a lot of pineapple, but if you want more pineapple and less cream, feel free to use more pineapple here and less cream now. You just want to pipe a good amount of cream into there and you'll want to smooth it off using a spatula or you know, a palette knife, whichever works. So to make the icing that goes on top of the tart, you'll want to place your icing sugar and pineapple juice into a bowl and give it a good whisk just until you've got the right consistency. You can then add in your colour, which I've added lemon yellow. Just mix that in until it's fully incorporated. You may need to add more water or more icing sugar to get the perfect consistency. But once you've got it, place it into a piping bag and then you can start to pipe it on the top of each tart. As you can tell here, it looks a bit messy to start with, but then it'll level and smooth itself off as you pipe it. You all then want to repeat this stage for the remainder of the tart. These aren't perfect looking but they went down a treat and I really do hope you get to try them soon. 
and let me know in the comments down below if this is a regional thing to the Midlands or West Midlands or whether it's a national thing if you've tried them let me know and where you're from so thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed if you did don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more from me I'll be back again next week with another video so join me then if you have any video suggestions for the future or in the meanwhile leave them down below I will leave all the links in the description down below that you may need from my social media from my blog and everything else so check all them out and yeah that's all for this week bye guys